Okay. Allison Sweeney is a Hallmark actress that is very subpar when it comes for me for Christmas films. Taking a look back at her other Christmas films. We have, of course, uh, The Murder She Baked, A Plum Pudding Mystery. We have Time for You to Come Home for Christmas, which I think is really, really good. We also have Christmas... Christmas at Hollywood Lodge, which I think is really dang good. We have uh, Good Morning Christmas, which was one last year that I don't really think I cared for. I wanted to, but I just didn't really care for it. I wanted to. I thought it was just subpar with the chemistry. The script was subpar at best, but the acting job by her was fantastic. I will always continue to love her. But let's talk about her new film, Open by Christmas. I didn't even know she was in this film until I saw like a preview or something. I didn't even know she she was in this film. The tagline is true love is closer than you think. This is directed by Hallmark director David Weaver. When Nikki finds an unopened Christmas card from high school. Let's try it one more time. When Nikki finds an unopened Christmas card from a high school secret admirer, she and her best friend, Simon, search to find and thank the anonymous author. This is one that you could see coming from a mile away. But looking back at it, it did nothing wrong. It just didn't have the best... It didn't do the best job of making me love the characters. I didn't get to know Nikki enough. I didn't get to know the love interest enough to make me believe it. Yes, they're friends, but... Looking at this film, when you have Allison Sweeney and Brennan Elliott, this is one that should have been great because these are two Hallmark people that everybody loves, which is why you and you love them. So you continue to bring them back year after year, film after film, film after film. But that being said, this script was just meh. This story was meh. The idea had a lot, a lot of potential. The movie could have been great. What stops him from being great? Well, I thought the script was just very subpar and mediocrely written. But the direction was not flawed. How does that work? Well, when your script has dialogue that really doesn't work, it really doesn't work at any point. However... The main portion of this film is the romance. And when your romance has a, a great on-screen chemistry to it, but bad written chemistry, again, you fail. But David Weaver is not new to the Hallmark Christmas scene. He's done great film after great film after great film. I thought he bit... bit. I... I thought he had a bit of a misstep with pl playing Cupid earlier this year. I thought he had a bit of a misstep uh, last year with If I Only Had Christmas, which I really didn't care for all that much. I still thought it was fine. But then you take a look at his other stuff, like It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas, Christmas Town, Bottled with Love. Of course, one of the great films of this year, Raise a Glass to Love. Uh, the Wedding March 2, 3, and 6 right? Two, three, and six, as well as a couple Lifetime Christmas films, but this is a director that knows what he's doing when it comes to this. He knows how to block. He knows how, how, how to direct these actors. Open by Christmas has on-screen chemistry, but, but bad written chemistry. They're trying their best with the script they're given, and with that being said, the script is what ruins this film. The story had a lot of potential, but besides that, that's all it had was potential. And I am saddened to say that this is one of the weakest Hallmark films, well, Hallmark Christmas films of the year. This is not going to be in my top 10 worst of the entire year for Hallmark. By all means, no. It's right there in the subpar middle, like a three-star film. Still enough to get it to a fresh rating, but one that I am definitely disappointed in. I'm going to give Open by Christmas a C+. Now... How are the other Christmas films this week going to shape up? Well, we do have a lot more to talk about, so we're going to get right into those. My next movie review for Hallmark Christmas is going to be A Christmas Treasure. And then 
We will also be talking about Father Christmas is back. We will be talking about a snowy Christmas. We will be talking about uh, one December night. And of course, Holiday in Harlem. But we also have reviews coming for all of these earlier this week as well. So I will see all of you guys next time for more reviews. And of course, if you haven't checked out my Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video, check that video out, my Black Friday, my Red Notice video, and my brand new review for the Taylor Swift short film, All Too Well, the short film. And I will see all of you guys next time.